Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to talk about Dr. Jackie from Married to Medicine. Um, I watched this past week's episode, and while I don't want to talk about the entire episode and each individual doctor or spouse, I do want to talk about Dr. Jackie and her husband. Um, we learned a little while ago, a few months ago, that Dr. Jackie's husband, Curtis, had cheated on her. And this season's episode opened up with that sad fact. Now, in these past few seasons, we have watched Dr. Jackie be so dedicated to her work. And we have also watched her struggle through the fact that she can't conceive and carry a child to term. We have watched her go to Curtis and, you know, talk to him about possibly adopting. And we watched Curtis tell her that that wasn't what he wanted. You know, Curtis does have a child, but Jackie does not. And for a woman who cannot bear a child and carry it to term, and wants to do it so bad, that has to be devastating. But if your husband is not on board, you don't wanna rush ahead and do something that he's telling you that he doesn't want. So pretty much she put what she wanted on the back burner. Now, since this is all you know exploded out there, I have been reading a lot of comments all over everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, just everywhere. And a lot of people have been saying that Dr. Jackie knew that her husband wanted to spend time with her and she ignored what he wanted and, you know, focused solely on her work. Her work was everything to her. You know, I don't want to condemn Dr. Jackie for that. I don't want to be another woman, you know, beating her over the head about burying herself in work and not focusing on her husband. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes when you are going through things, especially in a relationship, you can't see the forest for the trees. And I mean that on both of their, you know, both of their sides. Jackie was wanting a child and her husband didn't. And Curtis seemed to want time with Dr. Jackie and Dr. Jackie was lacking something and she buried herself in work. Now, I can see both sides of it. And for that, it's, this situation is really sad. It sounds like these two people, while they, they're both intelligent people, they both seem to really love each other. It's like they didn't have communication. Curtis, to me, was wrong. Because if he felt that he wasn't getting what he needed, from Dr. Jackie. He should have sat her down and said, you know what, look, um, you spend so much time with work, you are so dedicated to your profession that I feel secondary to it. I no longer want to live and be in a relationship like that, and I would like a divorce. The part where he is wrong is when he stepped outside of his marriage. His feelings may be valid, but if you feel that way, you don't have your wife over here and a mistress over there. You'd be man enough to sit your wife down and say, I can't do this anymore. I need more. And I think people would have respected him a lot better for that. On Dr. Jackie's side. I think Dr. Jackie should have sat down with Curtis and said, 
I have a void inside me. And that void is because I can't have a baby. And I know that I, you know, dedicate myself to work and, and maybe I have been putting you second. I don't mean to. I love you. I want this marriage. I want our relationship to work. But I'm trying to find something to fill that void of not having a child. And for me, that is work. And I think if those two would have seriously sat down and had that conversation, they may not have been where they are today. I know that, like I said at the beginning of the video, sometimes when you're in a relationship, you can't see the forest for the trees. I know looking back in hindsight on my marriage, my relationship, I you know, shortly after it ended, I put the blame solely on him. Everything was him, him, him. He did this to me. He did that to me. And I felt secure in that. But after years went by and I had a chance to have a little distance from the relationship, I could clearly see things that I could have done better, that I may have done wrong. And maybe I wasn't so outspoken on my deepest feelings. And maybe he didn't understand where my head was. So that left him wondering. I understand that everything was not his fault. Now, he does bear some fault. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is my communication skills when I was in that relationship, I realized that they weren't where they should have been. I should have been more vocal about my feelings and what I thought, and I should have been stronger in things that I didn't dislike. Instead of letting things just, you know, happen and go along without me speaking up for myself. The point that I'm trying to make is um, marriages and relationships, they are work. They are difficult because they are the relationships that we carry through our lives. They are the relationships that help us be in this world and be loved and be cherished. So you're going to make mistakes. And I, I'm just so sad for these two because we believed on the outside looking in that this was a strong marriage, that these were two people that were professionals and had found a way to coexist and, and you know, they had a strong bond there. I love it when I see black love, a man and a woman that respect each other and they appear to be so much in love and so much into each other. And I think when I look at Dr. Jackie and Curtis, I feel disappointed for them, for that marriage and what we thought it was. I believe that Curtis understands that he made a mistake. I believe that Curtis understands how he has humiliated Dr. Jackie publicly. You know, she right now is a public figure. She's a, a celebrity right now. And she carries herself in such a professional, um, demure way. And for this to happen to her publicly is another, another hurt for her. You know, she's also gone through breast cancer and you know, just a lot on this woman's plate in the past. And I think with the loss or potential loss of her marriage, this has got to be just simply devastating to her. Because I believe that Dr. Jackie truly loves her husband. But I believe that the fact that she couldn't have a child, she made the mistake of 
using her work as a replacement for not being able to have a child. Is she wrong? Was she wrong? I'm not going to say. Because everyone deals with, with their set of problems their own way. Some women would have, you know, just buried themselves in the man then, you know, their husband and making sure that he was happy. But like I said, every woman handles it differently. I don't know where they're going to go from here. I believe that this marriage was strong and that. If Dr. Jackie found it in her heart to try with Curtis, I believe that with counseling, they may be able to work it out. Now, the only reason why I say that is because they, they appear to have love for each other and respect for each other. And it seems to me through that, they may be able to work through it. I don't know if that is something that Dr. Jackie wants. I believe that sometimes, you know, the shame that everyone knows what has gone on in your marriage may, you know, make her say, I, I can't do it. You know, this is too much after all that I've gone through, you know. This is just one more thing, one more big hurt, and she may not be able to do it. I don't know, Curtis, you, you really messed up because you had a good woman. Um, she was just trying to fill a void that she had inside. And with this couple, strangely, strangely, y'all, because usually... I say, you know, to the woman, he cheated, pack his shit, leave him, blah, blah, blah. But for some reason, I wish they could work it out on. And that's weird for me. I I just feel that, you know, they they got something there. They they really have something worth fighting for. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get through it. But what I do know is this, just the, the face that Dr. Jackie has shown us these past few seasons, the strength that she has within, and everything about her tells me that whichever way Dr. Jackie decides to go, she's going to be okay. If she says, you know what, I'm going to fight for my marriage, I'm going to get costly, and we're going to get through this, I think Dr. Jackie can do it. But on the other hand, if Dr. Jackie says, no, I don't want this, this is too much, this is just one more hurt, and I need to get this man out of my life, I know that Dr. Jackie will be okay. She will hurt for a long time, a very, very long time, especially after all that she's been through. But I believe that Dr. Jackie is the type of woman that can compartmentalize things in her life. And I believe she can get through it. I wish them all the luck, y'all, because marriages, like I said, and relationships, they're hard work, and they're hard work on both the man and the woman's part. And I'm very, very disappointed in Curtis. You know, the hurt that he has put this woman through these past few months, I'm very disappointed in him. I think he could have handled this a lot better. And, um, that's pretty much all that I have to say on this, y'all. I, I feel so sorry for Dr. Jackie. When I think of her 
and think of what she must be feeling. It breaks my heart for her. But like I said, that's a strong little woman. And I believe that either way, she's going to get through it. And with that, y'all, this is the end of the video. But I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think that Dr. Jackie should, you know, just say, I'm done? You know, let him go his way and I'm going to go my way and try to get somewhere and heal? Or do you think that she should fight for her marriage? Y'all, honestly, I'm torn. I'm torn. And it's only because they seem to truly love each other. They just have that problem with Jackie being dedicated to work. Let me know what you think down in the comments, y'all. You have a great day. And thanks, as always, for watching my video. Take care now. Bye-bye.